Alright, what's up guys and welcome to actually another Wi-Fi battle from the MMBA. This time we're going up against Nasser in our WWE Week 9 or is it 10 in the MMBA? We really need to win this one. Uh, he has a semi-sand team, so uh, we're basically hoping he brings that. He has either sand or uh, with Tyranitar or has shards of Y with clearly shards of Y. So yeah, we're just going to do the best of I can. I kind of wing in this game. Uh, I do want to win it, but at the same time... We are facing against an opponent that are very aware of what he's doing, and um, I really need to just get my act together. Uh, no webcam today. Uh, it, the sun is right behind me, which means uh, uh, you don't see me very well, so I decided to not use it. And we see both. <laughs> uh, okay, this could be kind of tough. Uh, we see, actually, we don't see Guard of War, which was a Pokemon he did have, but we do see. Um, we see the solar beams, which clearly is going to be extremely frustrating. Uh, at the same time that we also are seeing Pokemon such as um, uh, Pukumuku and Comfey. Comfey could be annoying, uh, mainly because of the um, its hidden power. Um, well, not hidden power, its ability. Uh, I think I do well by actually lead off with um, uh, Tabu Fini, I do believe. I think that's the safest option. Uh, he should do well against every matchup here, and if I'm lucky, he's gonna start off with shards of Y, which uh, hopefully doesn't mega evolve. Basically, uh, I kind of want to lead off with Jolteon, but I don't want to reveal um, that I am Air Balloon. I cannot feel it. Actually, uh, who cares? I think that's the smart. Definitely lead off with that. Um, I think that's overall my smarter play because I can actually both switch out. Um, and with actually having the power of fire on my Jolteon, so I really hope that would help me. Uh, the versus this matchup, I mean, Pukumuku is going to be annoying. It's probably one of the few mods that actually uh, stands out a little bit extra. I kind of hope he leads off with um, uh, either to run his heart uh, or um, his Charizard Y. I do believe both of them are fair. Um, I don't have any stealth for this matchup, which means that Charizard Y is going to be annoying. I didn't see Charizard Y coming. Necessarily, uh, so he starts off with X Grill, so that's that's cool. Um, it does mean one thing though, we can actually go directly with Inner Power Fire. Uh, he needs to go for um, this, could do well uh, because he needs to go for um, an iron, what do you call it? Um, he needs to go for an iron head here to uh, do some damage onto me, so I think he's very aware of that. I I pretty much can see uh, only one switch in here. That's going to be his um, to run his heart. <sighs> I was definitely debating back and forth. You know how do we how we tackle this? Right, he just in here is going to connect to the part of fire, and that's going to do uh, nothing because that's a salt vest. As he goes to an iron head, um, it does fear to us um, a salt vest, huh? That's new. That's new. Um, that's new. So now I can just spam earthquake, right? Oh, that was that was not bad. Um, hmm. Arexi is at least fully defensive. I'm pretty sure it could be able to take an earthquake. It's gonna follow that with a poison jab, most likely. Um, Arexi is not incredibly important for this matchup in any way. Um, so there's the earthquake. I wonder. Please don't do too much here. Oh, it did, it did fair. It did fair. Uh, so we're gonna hit our left of recovery, and um, I think if it's smart. Um, he's going to go for um, um, he's going to go to his Venusaur. I do believe Venusaur can soak this really well, um, or go for the Poison Jab here. I do believe both plays are correct. He's not going to go for an Earthquake again, that's for sure. Um, Actually, I just go for Surf. If you go for the Poison Jab, so be it. Now it withdraws. Goes most likely to the Venusaur. Yeah, I do believe that's a safe play here. Uh, surf is going to do just about nope. 
Um, or no, it does okay. Um, I think I can switch in my hound room here. I don't see him go for an earthquake first. I hope he doesn't do that. Uh, Giga Rain seems obvious, Sludge Bomb will do a lot of damage. Hmm. I feel so weird not having any sound on. Um, basically, my mic got screwed up last time, so I decided to not do it until I figured it out. Uh, which which means that you know I have complete silence in my voice, and I don't know what's worse, the complete silence or my voice. And um. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna bring Hound Room. I really hope that um, he um, it goes good, right? All right, that's good. That's good. So that's especially offensive if I've ever seen someone. Oh, it's life work. It's life work. So I'm gonna go for pursuit here. Really hope he switches out. Uh, yeah. So we get the pursuit caught here, which is going to be immense. Uh, we're definitely gonna punish him for that switch. So it should be fair here. I really are looking for Tyranitar. Let's see, pursuit us. Wow, that was that was a hit. That was clearly clearly a crit. Uh, Tony Hawk. All right. And uh, we see Sandstream. The thing is here, I have reversal here, and as long as he's in Scarf, I should be able to KO him from here. Um, so that's what we're gonna go with. Please, please be some weird assault of a set. Be weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is this is one of those plays. Like if it's Scarf, he could outspeed me. I'm I don't know level one hundreds at all. Um. Jesus. Um. <laughs> The pressure is here, though. The pressure is here. Come on, stay in, buddy. Stay in. And don't be scarfed. Haven't calc level 100 scarfed. I am XP, though. Just because he had Stormy, which is not here. I'm just speaking out of my ass. Come on, come on. I know you want to do it. You want to feel the thrust of my horns. Come on, Titar. Be a friend. Yes! Yes! <laughs> no! He didn't do anything! <laughs> what? Am I not low enough? Or were the cogs wrong? I have no idea. I think right now I'm scaring the shit out of him, though. I've showed him reversal. And he is not ready. Oh Jesus! Um, <laughs> I really thought it would do more. I must have counted wrong. Why did it do so little? Why indeed did it do so little? I gotta continue, in though. Even if Comfort is switching, I need to keep going. Um, Tyrone, please be the confi. Yeah, there we go. Um, I should have gone for Fire Blast. I, I had a gut. I had a gut feeling there. Um, ah, that's not going to work. I'm uh, going to be buffed by the hand sandstorm. The one's at Bandborn. And he's going to be buffed. Everybody get buffed. And we're going to see leftovers. And my best guess here is that... Um, My best guess is that he go reader sub or call mind. Um, either way, I'm gonna send in my stealth wound. Um, let's see, yeah, we see the call mind. So that means that his raining kiss is gonna hurt. Um, but at the same time, I'm still a stealth lane, so you know it's it's all relative. Um, I don't know if it is a salt or like that. The only thing I know is that the sand is gonna keep going, and. Um, 
I am at full HP for now. If we go to, well, yeah, turn three of the sand basically. So either go for Draining Kiss or he's switching his Tyranitar or he sacks his Venusaur. Uh, that's the series of play he ha he can or has to make. Uh, he could also go like instead of Draining Kiss. He's not gonna try that though. I, I appreciate that. As he goes to Tony Hawk, I don't know how much return does. Probably shouldn't do too much. Um, it does okay. Like I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, I need to make a call though, it's either, or not a call, like physically calling somebody, but I need to make a call about this matchup. Um, he could possibly go for Stealth Rocks here. Um, that would kill Helgar. So, because I don't have any spinner, right? No. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to switch this guy in. Uh, I really hope that he doesn't have Pursuit. Um, I hope he goes for Rocks here. I think that's ideal, as, yeah, that is exactly what happens. And since I have no way of spinning this, this will mean that I am, by default, lost here. Um, though we are low enough to scare him off. And I think I want to utilize his Excadrill as long as he can, so with that in mind, uh, I'm going to go for Fire Blast. Um, he just decided to switch out. This is good. As uh, so Fire Blast shouldn't do a whole lot since we are naive here, which means we're focused on speed. But if I connect it, it should put him down a, le a little bit. I think that's alright. I think that's alright. Um, it's whether or not a Draining Kiss here is enough to KO me. Uh, survey say probably. Um, and if so, then so be it. Um, he goes to Renikis, come on, Helgar, pull this off. I need you to be weird. No. <laughs> That's alright, though. That's alright. Um, as stated, um, there are only so many optimal situations there. While I just get a lot of recovery back onto him, um, I do not fear it necessarily. Um, I think I go back to Full Fear. Uh, I don't believe he has a proper switching towards this Pokemon. Um, losing Houndoom is going to be unfortunate, though. It's definitely going to be unfortunate. Um, I think Return hurts his whole team, so he probably go for Draining Kiss just for the hell of it. Or he sacks off his Venusaur to try to get a free switch into his... Um, uh, to try to get a free switch into his... So what do you call it? Can't speak. Um, to his Charizard Y. Um, he does switch out, though, so Tyranitar probably is going to come in, or... Uh, okay, it is Tyranitar, so that's okay. I do believe Return at this range are a 2 hit KO in my favor. Um, actually, yeah, he's not going to be able to take another one. As uh, his right series of play here would actually be to uh, sack this guy off and then go to Charizard Y, steal the sun. Um, I think that's his best play to make. And the only thing I can do is pretty much steal it back. Steal it back and steal it back. Uh, so, out raw. Yeah. That looks about right. And at this moment, I don't have a switch in. So, all I can do, I can bring a Rex here. I really hope he goes for a Fire Blast. Uh, here he goes for Solar Beam. That's the smarter play, but I really hope he doesn't do that. Oh god, that Houndoom play could very well have lost me the game. Um, I really thought Reversal would have done more. Uh, oh, that's gonna that's gonna kick me in the butt for a long time. Fire Blast should still do a whole lot of damage onto me, uh, no doubt. It's whether or not I can survive it. Uh, I should be able to take one of these though, even though it is you know super super effective this time around. Uh, we won't be able to take another. We won't be able to take another. The only thing we can do from here is bring Eagleith and um, 
The reason Gigalith is such a smart play overall is because if it goes for a Solar Beam, which you won't do, but uh, that's a series of play it can make. He actually switches out, goes to Venusaur. All right. That's cool. That's cool. As he's not gonna at least get his uh, his serious amount of uh, boosting, but at the same time, you know, I don't uh, I don't like this situation. I don't like this at all. Um, I can send thesis here though, which is good. Um, Giga Drain is his best play. Um, I think I take it all right. Slash Bomb is his other play. I don't want to sack something versus this. This is silly. Yeah, with that in mind, I need to go for Stone Edge. I really need to try to just go for the KO. I am a Soul Vested, so hopefully it doesn't do all that much. It does. It does. Don't recover too much now. And connect to Stone Edge. For crying out loud. That's pretty much all that matters. <laughs> right, Venusaur is gone. Uh, that means he can't abuse the sun. And we still need Gigalith somewhat healthy. Um, and in the sand. Preferably. Uh, we already know that due to... Um, due to the way he was playing his... Um, um, Exeter will be in Assault Vested, we already know that he can't set up, which is a major perk for us. Uh, what doesn't work is that we already know it comes in, clearly has the speed to kill something. That's right, it brings the extra real. That's that's the right play. Um, And I need to sack off my my type of Fini. I'm basically are in some kind of weird middle ground where I simply can't decide how to kill off Pukumuk in the end of this game. Um, there's the Earthquake, nothing to it, as that's gonna KO. Um, the Sand is still going strong, I believe, which is both good and bad. I think I bring my own, uh, my Sand Slash here. Uh, I think his smartest play here is go to the Pukumuku. Um, since he's unaware and whatnot. Uh, or it goes for Earthquake, just trying to get as much damage as possible. But I think Pukumuku is the play to make. Goes? Wow, that's risky. That's very risky. I could have gone for a Stone Edge there. Wow. That I did not see happening, actually. He's making plays. And he can't go for Solar Beam, because then he will be locked in. But I kind of need to. Um, Alright, he does stay in. Alright, that's good. That's good. Please, please tell me you went for a solar beam here. Alright, went for Fire Blast. And we take that decently. So that's good. He won't try another. He's gonna go for Pukumuku here. Mm. Oh, two seconds. A call. I think so, Yo, Yeah, sure.
Sorry, guys. All right, we did predict that one, right? Or it's it's relative. Um, he could very well go for Soak here. Uh, or even worse, he could go for a Toxic. Though I have facades, we can kind of contradict that situation. What I do believe he's going to do, though, is try to survive it. Which, if he's fully defensive, he probably can. Ooh, he has counter. Nice. Nice. That clearly worked. That clearly worked. Alright, I think we we'll lose here. I think that's about it. Oh, that sucks. That sucked a whole lot, actually. Oh! Don't take a call while you're battling. Clearly. Of course you had to counter. That was super obvious. That was super obvious. Man, I'm pissed. Man, I'm pissed. Alright, let's be done by fire. Uh, hoping for the next grill. We're not gonna do enough here. Kind of have to hope the sandstorm subsides. We, just, we, just, we pretty much died to... Oh, fuck. That was a major misplay on my side. Yeah, we lost. That's GG. That's GG. Oh, that was terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> That's my fault. It's definitely my fault. Um, didn't play that right at all. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice um, Vulcan here. He got me. He got me good. So no playoff for me this season. Then again, you know, consider of course I pretty much lost three games in a row by poor planning. You know, I guess it's actually quite all right. Um, I guess the only thing I can do now, if I can really hope he plays for differential and it goes to the Charizard Y. Should I do that? It would be dumb of him doing that. His strongest play is to not lose x though. Right? Yeah, I gotta do it. Be weird. Go to Charizard Y. No, he didn't do that. That's too bad, as uh, we're gonna go for Stone Edge. And if we connect it, that's gonna be kinda cool. Um, he did the right damage there. And I am forced to go for an Earthquake here. Uh, we're at least gonna KO the Chukumuku, but at what cost, basically? Because <sighs> now Shards of Y comes in, there is really... Actually, I could use the Sun to my benefit here, if I'm smart. Um, it should be alright. It should be alright. Because the draw means that I'll do more damage with my... It's very not vulnerable to the KO, actually, the more I think about it. Uh, but we definitely gonna stay in while he goes for Solar Beam. Um, damn, what if I was Sea Sandstone? What a freaking twist that would have been. <laughs> but yeah, there's a real nothing to do as we fall there. Um, like I said, their Thunderbolt maybe could KO. I don't know. Probably not. But if it does, that means that we have sol Solar Powered Boost behind us. And it's all about whether or not the Draining Kiss from that Comfy is enough to KO us. So hopefully T-Bolt is enough. It's a gamble. Um, I don't know whether or not it's KO. It wasn't. That's that's great. That's exactly what we needed to see. All right, so we don't get to see that gamble as a three or win uh, or loss. <laughs> it's a win for Nasser. So GG buddy, and uh, yeah, thank you of course everybody for watching. Sorry for the downer play there. Um, he definitely got the right counter, but as I said there, you know, I really had to take that call. It was about um, my kitchen being. Uh, delivered today, so um, pretty unfortunate, didn't think about that playthrough, of course he had a counter, she just didn't want to coming, but at the same time, you know, if you do just playing half-ass, then basically here we are. <laughs>
<laughs> so anyway guys, as always, thank you of course for watching and uh, also Nasser, uh, good luck in playoff, I do believe you will make it in the not I. I'm definitely out by default here, I do believe. So yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you next video. Till then, take care, bye.